Jackson in uh, the ninth round of the tight end roping. Uh, Shane Hanchy, nice job, buddy. Thank you. Uh, finally got a calf that suited my style, and it felt good to show these people how much hard work I've put into it. You know, we I knew it was going to happen, and I, you and I talked earlier in the week, but, uh, you know, it's, that that's the finals. You, as you well know, that's the final. That's the way it happened. Yeah, you know, you work you're, you work so hard during the year, you know, to make it here. And then when you make it here, you just assume that you're going to get the 10 best calves they bring here. And that's not the case. You know, uh, from last year doing so good to this year, it's, it's just a whole whole mind change for me, you know. It's just going to make me go out there next year, you know, with a little bit more fuel to the fire and prove to everybody why I'm here two years in a row. So. What about uh, what about your horse? Uh, working good all you all week, all week, all year. Um, I didn't have a dime one until March, and uh, so this summer helped a lot. And my horse never backed off. Just like here, he's been awesome every step of the way, and um, he, he's just a blessing to me. There's no other way to describe it. I was a little worried about y'all winter long there. Uh, just uh, wondering where is Shane Hanchy? When's this kid gonna show up? Well, you showed up in the middle of the summer and. Uh, Flat took it to him. Yeah, you know, I had a good fourth, won 25,000, and uh, that's what needed to happen if I wanted to come back here, you know, not having put 5,000 going into Reno. So I knew that uh, I had to take it to him over the fourth and finish the year out strong at Omaha and Pialop, and I did that. So I was just glad to make it back. You know, I love to talk to tie down ropers because you guys are always on top of the numbers. You know what has to happen, uh, you know about every run, you calculate everything. How do you calculate this deal out here now? With a 10th round, it's kind of opened up. Yeah, I mean, the wheels fell off tonight. You know, that just uh, goes to show you that it's anybody's game out here. You know, uh, I, I can't even begin to imagine how it's going to unfold tomorrow. I just We just got to rope and see. And, you know, guys like me and, and Cliff that, that don't have no average part can dang sure ruin some dreams by, you know, winning a go-round or, you know, playing some defense. So we'll just have to wait and see. And your plan is, I'm sure, uh, run out there and be 6'8 if you can. Bring the record. Okay, 6'4 then. Sorry. Yeah, you know, the Cavs <laughs> tomorrow are the strong pin, so, you know, you just kind of got to take what they give you. You know, I mean, there's dang sure some in there that can be tied faster than 7 flat, but there's some in there that if you're 7'8, just get what they give you and, and go back to the house and get ready for next year. Traveled most of the year or the last couple of years with the Cooper boys, so you uh, you know that camp pretty well. Oh, yeah, you know, we've grown up together and we've dreamed of doing this together, you know, roping uh, against each other for a gold buckle. And, and to do it two years now, it's just, like I said earlier, I hope it's uh, what the fans want to see from years to come. Well, uh, you know, a, a little bit of a change of guard in the last couple of years. We still, uh, you still stick Cody Ole in there. He's the veteran. He's the guy that, uh, you know, that can always come get you. And he's certainly proved it this year or this week. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, he... What did he go to 22 rodeos this year? And today he would have uh, won the world by $1,000. It's, it's something that, I mean, like, uh, you know, I look up to him in so many different ways, but I don't know if I could go to 21 rodeos and have a shot at a gold buckle by the ninth round. Well, you know, that might happen for you, but uh, it, <laughs> I agree with you. That's uh, that's a little different story for sure. Oh, yeah, you know, he's he's got got all the crafts down to a tee. You know, he, uh, he scores better than anybody, ropes the next better than anybody, and, Thanks sure his ground works just as good as anybody. So, you know, he's pretty discouraged after tonight, but, uh, you know, he's he knows that he's got five gold buckles for a reason. I'm pretty proud of you for a lot of reasons, but uh, number one is you haven't said a thing yet about the Tigers. Oh, no. Well, I think everybody knows where I stand on that. I mean, 13-0, and 0 and we're headed to a national title game, which I'll be at. So, if you don't need anything on January 9th, I'll be in New Orleans. <laughs> That's probably as important as being at the NFR, isn't it, for you? Um, I'm not going to say that, but, I mean, I, every time the Tigers come on, I just, I don't know, it's just an unbelievable feeling. I'm glad I'm a fan. I keep up with the Tigers only through Shane Hanchy, and uh, <laughs> it's been pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to even be better next year if that's scary or not. I don't know. Well, it could be. <laughs> we'll, we'll, let, we'll let that play out yeah, and see yeah. where it is. Shane, congratulations, though, on, Thanks, a, on, a, on a great one. And, uh, Hopefully we can uh, get a chance to chat tomorrow night. How about that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's uh, set that arena record. You bet. Thank All you. Right. Thank you.